If you have hooded eyes like I do, I'm going to show you that it's still possible to create a winged eyeliner. In order to prevent any creasing, first you need to wipe off any excess oils from your eyelid. That's just from your skin overlapping. You see that? And see there's a slight sheen here where it creates the oil. So take a tissue and just wipe off that excess oil. Then you want to go in with an eyeshadow primer. My current favorite is the NARS eyeshadow primer. It's a bit pricey, but this one has given me the best results for my oily eyelids. I'm going to apply just where the crease is and a bit down here because my skin, my skin touches each other right here too. I'm just going to quickly apply some eyeshadow, taking this Too Faced Born This Way eyeshadow palette. And since I'm wearing pink, I think I'm going to go in with this shade. I'm going to quickly add... Ooh, that's pigmented. And then just lightly blending that outward. You know you have a good eyeshadow when you can go in with the same color and you can build up the color. To start off our eyeliner, I'm going to take an angled brush like this. And this one is just from Beauty Bakery. And then go in with eyeshadow. So I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow. Now, make sure you look straight with your eyes opened. And you see how my eyes are small. And it's because it's small, it it's not opened up like this. I see most people with eyeliner tutorials, their eyes are like really big. But no, mine's not like that. Mine is really small and it's like really hooded right here. So I actually need to draw a straight line out. Because the highest point of my eyelid is actually over here goes like this and then down like this same on this side it kind of goes like this up and then down like this so with my eyes opened i'm going to start right here and with the powder you see how i'm just doing this and you just do small strokes okay just like that you see how it kind of looks like a wing already and then when I open my eyes, this is what it looks like. Now I'm going in with the powder and my brush again. Tap off the excess powder. Okay, I'm just grabbing a tissue and going from my nose to here as a guide. And starting on my lower lash line, just looking up. It looks fine, right? But the problem is, you see where it kind of dips like this? My skin, the fold is touching the bottom part here and it's going to transfer down to here. So instead of doing this trick from my eye to up and go like this, the reason why we do eyeshadow is we can easily erase our mistakes if we make them. So I'm going to draw my straight line that I did earlier again. Like this. And then now, I'm actually looking at my waterline. My waterline is that pink line you see here. This is my actual lash line where my lashes are. And then you see this pink line, that's your waterline. So because my skin folds like that, I'm going to follow my waterline and go that way. So now this part that's touching my skin, you see my, my um, eyeliner actually starts over here. See that? Where my, my waterline is? Now let's try it again with this eye, with eyeshadow on my brush. I'm going to follow this line 
where my eyes kind of go out like this. So with this one, it slants down more than this eye. I kind of have to imagine a line going out starting from my natural eye line here and kind of doing small strokes and going outwards. So it's not exactly a straight line. It kind of goes a slight angle. If that makes sense. So you see how it's not like doing this like regular eyeliners because my eyes are small I kind of have to go more of a straight line this is what it looks like with my eyelids lifted up again if you make mistakes you just use your tissue or your finger going in with more eyeshadow following the water line and connecting the bottom line to the top line like that then I have all this extra space underneath my hooded eye but this is what your wing liner should look like when you open your eyes and you look straight now to fill the rest of this in you can either go in with a eyeliner pencil or a liquid eyeliner I have this liquid line from M Cosmetics it's brown but it's like a really dark brown so I'm going to show you a liquid liner on this eye and then I'm going to do a pencil on this eye. Now that we have our wing, we can trace it with our liquid eyeliner. I'm not really good with liquid. That's why a lot of the times I will go over it with shadow first. And when you get to this part, turn your eyeliner straight and just kind of stamp it. So how you do your eyeliner here, how thick, depends on how your eyes open. So if you open your eyes and you can see your, your lashes and your, your top waterline, if you open your eyes you can see that pink, then you can do a really thin eyeliner. But for me, when I open my eyes and look straight, it's completely like hidden under here. So I need to do my eyeliner a little thicker. It's totally your preference too. So kind of like a traditional hooded eyeliner technique, you have to create that bat wing shape on the outer part here. You see how it kind of like dips like this? And you can leave it like that. But for me, I like to add powder over it the way my eyes like completely completely folds down like this even with eyeliner liquid eyeliner it still smudges and creases so I'm taking more powder on my brush and I'm actually patting eyeshadow primer on top plus I like how the eyeshadow makes the eyeliner softer now for this eye I'm going to take my favorite gel pencil this is from a Korean brand called McLean New York I'm gonna hold my skin taut and then tracing over that eyeshadow doing the line like I did my other eye just lining the top here so again because my eyes completely like it's completely like hooded right here I'm actually going to see how I'm opening and dropping so I'm actually going to Find this entire area and shade it in. I have to take my brush and smooth out the line. And 
fold this out. And then just like with this eye, I'm taking eyeshadow. And patting the eyeshadow over my pencil. You know how we set our face with loose setting powder? So that's exactly what we're doing with eyeshadow. Is we're setting our eyeliner. And you see how the line is so much softer than this harsh line here? That's why I like using gel pencils because they just look softer. Now for our lower lash line. Instead of adding eyeshadow directly underneath, that's going to... The eyeshadow is going to smudge and smear all over here because it's oily down here. The skin's rubbing against each other. So what you have to do is lay down a base first. So I'm going to take my gel pencil and putting that on my lower lash line just very lightly. Then I'm going to take my eyeliner brush and I'm going to smudge that. I'm stopping halfway because my eyes are small and I want to keep this part here light. So now that we have something for the eyeshadow to grip on, which is this gel pencil, I'm going to use the same color that I used up here. I'm going to take this one and just stamp that right on top of the pencil making sure I stay right on that line instead of smoking and smudging it out it's going to smear and smudge and cause transfer down here so I curled my lashes too my wimpy lashes you can barely see them so I'll be honest I like doing gel pencil because it looks softer so what I'm gonna do on this side I'm actually gonna take my gel pencil and just like this side where I made the eyeliner thicker, I'm going to take this, connect this to this. This is totally optional. You don't have to, but this is how I like to do my eyeliner. Smudge in that liner. Taking my eyeshadow. Putting that over the pencil. Ugh, this part's so dark because of the liquid eyeliner. This is the final look. Okay, this is a brief intervention. It's been a couple days since I filmed, and I did this wing liner that looks more like a V. And it's thinner, it's different not what I'm used to. It reminds me of all those graphic eyeliners that you see on other people's social medias. I'm not big on graphic liners, but what do you guys think? Just another style if you prefer that. I hope this helps and let me know if you guys have any other makeup questions. Drop it in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!